<laughs> I watch it all the time on YouTube, and like I think I've watched almost all of the videos because I'm yeah I really like John Kenyon's videos. <laughs> so I watched <laughs> what would you do like since I was like really little, and so it's very cool to like be in the same room as him <laughs> because I've watched him for like a really long time. I just want to like see him, I guess. I don't know. Okay. That's and nothing too like crazy, you know. Just hang out. Um, I would like to ask him something about like how he got started in all of this and like how he got interested in doing um, videos and a show like this in general. What I'm most excited to ask him is about how, how he gets inspiration for the videos. Like how does he, how he comes up with the um, video topic or um, you know how he chooses the actors and things like that. Like, I feel like that would be interesting. Favorite? I like the um, interracial adoptions. I really like the one where um, they tested out to see um, how people would react to a mother breastfeeding in public, and I thought that was a very like different topic. People don't really talk about that, and like I, it was nice to see like people stand up for her and things like that. So I like that. It's so great to be here at the University of Illinois, not far from where I started my career. I started my career in Chicago as a I was a local reporter there when I was, uh, yeah, about a few years ago. <laughs> Shine a light, again, I love that, the, the, that comparison. We wanted to know, how is it that, we kind of wanted to hold a mirror, right? A mirror up to society, so that we would all be better equipped to say, hey, that's wrong, or how can I help, right? And what better tool to do that with than with hidden cameras on national television? <laughs> um, what would you do poses? That it poses all those questions that you saw up there on the screen. When you witness any kind of injustice, you know, bullying, or racism, or somebody being ridiculed because of the color of their skin, or the accent in their voice, and when you come face to face with these things, spousal abuse, you know, and the little voice in the back of your head says, do something, do you step in or do you step away? What would you do? As someone who tried, again, through his storytelling, to shine a light on things that people would rather not talk about, would rather not hear about, would rather not consider. I think that's it, as a reporter, we just want to make a little difference in the world and make the world a better place. Ben, it was really cool. I think it was inspirational. He gave a lot of really good advice. I think not just for journalism students, but also um, I'm pre-med. I think what he said also like kind of applies to that. And um, his experience is really similar to my parents' experiment uh, experience. So I think it was really inspiring. Too. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I did really enjoy getting to hear like his life story and like how he got to where he is now. I thought it was so interesting. Coming here to get just listening it was awesome I love the questions and um, the identities that were being that were here it was great